that works. Hey guys, Isabel here. Um, so you got your first order in and I know when I got my first order in, the thought of having to um, put the box together and ship it out um, was a little intimidating. Um, I, there was a, there's a bunch of tutorials out there for it. So literally all you have to do is go out there and search for them. It's real easy. Um, I was just going to show you real quick for those of you who haven't ever done it before. Um, this is just a Lowe's box and I actually order these usually like in sets of 20 or 30. Um, it's 22, 22, 22 and I cut them down. These are for the larger eats. I can ship a 24 inch in here and I've shipped like 25 to 26 inches in here as well. Um, my clown wreaths, which sometimes if you go from tip to tip on the clown, the clown wreaths can measure um, about 31 inches in diameter and I will ship them in here as well um, and I haven't had any customers complain. Um, I just make sure that the curls are tightly rolled in there before I close everything and just kind of move things around. But you can ship rather large deco mesh wreaths in here. Um, and save yourself a buck because you really don't you don't want to get any bigger than 22, 22, 22 by 8. Um, the smaller the better. All right. So what we're going to do with this big box here, you're going to need a few things here. Um, one, you have this little box cutter here. All right. Um, obviously, you're going to need yourself a nice little packing. You can do it with a regular roll of tape, but let me tell you, whew, man, is it fun to cut. Um, the other thing, I don't know what you call this, guys, a carton resizer, box resizer. I'm not quite sure, um, but this is a handy little tool from Amazon. I want to say it cost me like 15 bucks, and then you just need your pair of scissors. Um, I like to print a thank you note out. I think it was Southern Charm that I got that idea from, um, but I send out like a little instructions note of, of like how to take it out of the box and future care and how to clean it as well, just so that customers have that information. I'll throw some business cards in there too. So first thing I'm going to do here, I'm just going to go over here to these edges and we're going to slice those open. All right. Then I'm going to take the box and we're going to fold these down. I don't have a preference. I'm just like, which one's the top? Which one's the bottom? I don't know. I just tape it. I mean, it's a box. You know, what's important is, well, it's stay together during shipping. <laughs> All right. Now, when you go across, notice that I'm taking my hand and I'm rubbing it across. And when I get down here, this is the part that I struggled with at the beginning forever. All right. I'm going to lift up and push in and then go down at a diagonal. Okay. This gives me a nice clean cut here. Um, I like to do three of these here. I'll go down a little further. Remember, push down and diagonal. Okay, same thing here. All right, I'm going to push down tight back here. And as I'm running this, in, my hand's going to go behind it and push it down. Go down, push up and in, and then come down diagonal. All right. Just make sure these little guys are sealed. I've got three orders sitting over there that have to go out and then I've got this one that has to go out. So I've got to get those done by tomorrow. So, all right, so this is ready. So now we've got to cut this thing down. Um, I never ship above eight inches period. Um, and I'll put it into Etsy and the calculator will tell me it's funny because I can put something down to six inches sometimes and Etsy will like jump the shipping charge up. It's really weird. Um, I can bump it up to 10, it'll like go down. I don't know, it's really weird. But the U US, the post office told me the smaller the better, regardless. So I'm like, okay, whatever. I'm gonna push all four of these in. So easy, all right. Now, I'm gonna take this guy, and for a box that th that's, that's this tall, because I can only go up to 13 inches, I'm actually gonna have to cut this two times. So I'm going to bump this all the way up to the top. I turned the music off today, guys. I had no idea that that was like something you could not do. Um, 
No idea. I had, I always listen to music in the background. Actually, I had to remind myself to turn it off. Um, I appreciate those of you who kept telling me last time. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, by the time I was done, though, I was like, oh no, it's too late. Okay, so I've got my box cutter here, my carton resizer. I don't know what the heck you call this thing. All right, it's got this handy little thing. It's going to hang on here. Okay, now, when you're doing this, don't put your hand over. Um, at least for me, I find out that I push downwards too much, and you don't want to do that because then it's going to get like all, I don't know what, what you call it, chunky, zag, I don't know. It's not going to be a smooth cut across. And then you get those weird little zigzag lines. So I will actually take my hand under and hold it here. I have one hand on top, and I'm just going to move it across. And turn. Turn it again. Turn it again. All right, let's cut this baby open. All right, so now when you run your hands across here, you'll feel the perforated lines. Um, so all I'm going to do is take the box cutter and where this edge right here, where we've got this nice little, where the two sides meet, I'm going to find that perforated line and that's where I'm going to start cutting up from. Okay, so let's see here, where is it? There it is. And it doesn't have to be a perfect cut straight up. There it is. All right, turn it again. This is a lot better in the daylight. I need to get some better lighting for this room, but one thing at a time. I've been working all week long. I've literally, see, went off over there. That's okay, because it's going to get cut off at the end. It doesn't even really matter. All right. I'm trying to fill the orders in, coming home after work. And let me tell you, I've been doing like at least four to five orders a day, which I'm very blessed to do. So I'm grateful for that. Um, okay. All right. So now that we've got that done, we're still not done yet, though. I'm just going to fold these out real quick. All right. And now what I'm going to do. We've got to cut this one more time because right now it's actually sitting at 10 inches. So if you have a 13 inch carton resizer and you move this to the end right here, um, you're actually create, you just created a 10 inch box. Um, so what I'm going to do is I need to bump this a little bit more to get to eight inches and I've actually figured out the perfect spot. I'm going to go down here and if you look here, you've, I know it's hard to see on there, but you've got your own though too. You have the number four and right above the number four is a little line. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go three lines before that number four. One, two, three. All right. So I'm going to go here. All right. I can see my number four. I see the line before it. I see the line before that. There's that line. The third line before the four and I'm going to tighten it up. If you put it here, you got your eight inch box. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is we need to cut it down a little bit more. All right. So I'm going to fold this in. I'm not going to push this all the way down. I want a nice 90 degree angle right here. Okay. And this time we're going to hold it upside down. Okay. This is going to rest over here at the top of the box. And I'm just going to go this way. And this time, yeah, my hand's not under. My hand is over. All right. Push that out. Fold the back one in. And rotate. Out. Push the back one in. Fold it in. And rotate. Oh. how I spend my Friday evenings. I'm not quite sure what that says about me. It's a good time, right? My glass of wine's downstairs. It's empty, though. It has been empty for quite a while. All right. I think this is our last one. We'll check. Maybe have a little more. All right. Let's double check. I think that I did all of them. Yep, I sure did. See? That is so ridiculously easy. There's no need to go out and buy all these, like, buy 10 or buy eight inch boxes and you're paying two and a half, three and a half, four and a half dollars. 
Um, why? All right, just get the bigger ones. They're cheaper. Go for the Lowe's moving ones. So you don't need to worry about the heavy duty, double walled. All you're doing is increasing the weight of the box, which means you're gonna pay more for shipping, okay? So now what I wanna do is I'm just gonna go here. And because with all this cardboard, it's hard to see, I'm gonna fold these in. That way, I can see these perforated lines a little bit better. All right, here we go. Up, next one. You can see my line went a little off here. That's okay, it's not a big deal. I'll just push it down a little bit more. All right, there we go. And there we go. All right, so now, time to start doing some cutting because we've got to get some of this weight off it's like it's almost like going to the hair salon and you haven't had a haircut in god knows how long and they like chop 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 you go to the lady who has like the shortest hair and you always know that when you go to the barber when you go to the salon i always look at the people and like their hair length i know that the person with the longest hair is going to be very conservative in cutting my hair um the person with the super short haircut is going to chop chop off everything Okay, um, and the more funky the haircut, well, I, I better be prepared for a new chain, a, a new hairstyle. Okay, and that's happened before, okay? All right, so now what we're gonna do is we are going to take these and I'm gonna hold it on both sides here, fold it down like this. And if you get a side where it didn't quite get down as far, that's okay, you just push it a little bit, okay? All right, we're gonna go to this side here. We're going to fold it down. All right. Go to this side here. Now we're going to fold it down. See, that one didn't quite. That's okay. It's not a problem. Go to this one and fold that down a little bit there. Okay, so now we're ready to cut. All right, now we're going to fold it in. The reason I do outwards first is because it makes it a little bit easier. It makes it more flexible so that it folds in easier. All right. Again, I'm taking both hands on the edges. I'm gonna put one hand here in the middle, actually, and now I'm gonna push down. All right. Then I wanna go to the opposite side. And what I wanna do now is I'm gonna cut about middle here. So about right here. And I'm gonna show you guys about this later. This is so ridiculously easy. Um, I take these extra pieces. I, for the longest of time, I was throwing them away. And then I was like, man, I'm wasting so much of the freaking box. There's got to be something else to do with this besides like my kids paint on it or skate down the stairs. That's not appropriate. Um, but my seven-year-old did take this and sat on them and went phew, right down. Problem was when the three-year-old did it. That was not so good. Um, anyway, what I've learned is you can take all of these spare pieces and it's kind of like the same thing with the box cutter. You create little perforated edges on them. Make sure they're about roughly the same size. Create perforated edges where you want to fold them together. And you can bring two spare pieces together at a 90 degree angle. Take, um, and that's why you've perforated them so it has that nice fold. Um, take a staple gun, staple, staple. Once you've stapled your box together, tape. That's it, you got another box. Plain and simple, nothing fancy. It works, guys, all right? And there you go. Two boxes out of one, so for, I don't know how much this one was, but I know my 18 by 16s are $1.30, so if I can get two boxes out, that'd be great. All right, so we've kept this side. Let's go to this side. Put that down, put your hand there, and push in. All right. And I'm seeing, I'm peeking right here is where I cut it. I want to cut it relatively close to the one underneath. Okay. I actually want to do another experiment with these extra pieces later. All right, so now this inner set is done. Now we're going to get the outer set done, okay? Once again, I'm going to put my hand in here I'm gonna use the other hand underneath to push it. All right, there we go. Look at that. All right, about the middle.
middle. There we go. Other side, same thing. Under. Push. I think I hurt my three-year-old. But luckily, this video is pretty much almost done because all I really wanted to show you was how quickly, how easy it is to put your own box together. Order them a little larger. They're a little cheaper sometimes. And just cut it down yourself done. That's it. Um, obviously, I'm not going to um, tape this shut right now, but if I were to tape this, um, you know, I've got my shipping label, I've got my particular business label here, I've got my Etsy label over here. Um, the very first thing I want to do is because this comes up and because this comes up, before I start taping the middle, I want to push this down and I'm going to use my tape to go across here. Then I'm going to come over here to this same side and use my tape to come across here because then both of them are laying flat. So when you're taping the middle, the whole entire top of the box is flat. You get a nice smooth finish. Again, I do three across the middle, one straight here, one to the right side, one to the left side. That's it. Um, it is so simple. I can finish this in just a couple of minutes uh, you know obviously I'm doing a video right now so I took my time with it but literally in two to three minutes you can have a box put together and done okay I used to hate doing this until I kind of like got it down to like an art so I'm gonna stick this over here my other pile of things that I've done and now I have two more wreaths I've got to finish tonight um, so I can ship them off tomorrow so I really hope that um, it's late at night right now. I don't know who else is up besides me. Um, but I really hope that this helps some of you guys. Or if you know a beginning wreather, um, you know, somebody who's just getting into the crafts, that it might help them. Feel free to share it. You know, it's just even for personal things, like when you're shipping your own stuff, you know. Um, you don't need to go and buy the special boxes. And like I said, take your spare pieces, take the resizer. Make yourself a little perforated edge here. Get another piece. Make a perforated edge here. Fold in. Fold in. And then put the two folded sides together. Staple, staple, tape. And you got yourself a brand new box. Bada bing, bada boom. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And with that, I'm going to go refill my wine glass, which is only my second one, so it's really not that bad. Plus, it's a Friday night, and I'm a teacher, which means it's a Friday night. I'm, this is what I'm supposed to do. All right. Um, I will see you guys tomorrow evening. I'm going to do a very brief live for the burlap bubble one that I had a request for like a week ago. <laughs> but it's going to be a very brief live just to show you um, how to get started with it for those people who are interested. Obviously, it's going to be after the kids go to bed, so probably not going to be till 9.30 or 10 o'clock. So, but it's always available on replay, and again, no music. So, all right. Um, ciao, guys. Good night.